So today basically we finish we finish our first chapter and uh, today we're going to do some tutorial here. So I just give I, I won't do all the question because all the questions if I do one then the rest you must be able to do. Okay. So first one is a linear inequality. Make sure this is positive, okay? If it is not positive, let's say, let's say for example, let's say for example it is negative 4x to be on safer side, make this as positive. How to make this as positive? Change the direction. Negative become positive, positive become negative. And then only you divide, okay? For example, eh? but I'm going to erase this, okay? This is just for example. Now ours is ours is positive, so so no need to worry about that sign. So this should be your answer. And uh, solve each inequality below and illustrate the solution on the number line. So number line system, I, I suppose if you have followed my lesson from the very beginning, all of you already expert in number line. Always put a zero here so that we know which one is positive, which one is negative. V13 and uh, if you want to write this in number line, this should be the answer. Of course, in the in the answer. I have given in a different manner I guess I have given just like this but suppose you have to do it's better for you to do like this that is regarding question A the rest you can you can try on your own okay the answer the, the to solve this is almost the same okay so I leave it I leave the rest to you to, to check a, B, C, D, E, F, follow the method I did here. Again, and then check the answer. Now I'm going to go for number two here. Here number two, I will do one. Okay, maybe I will do, uh, maybe L, I do L. Just now I did this one. Three eh? x minus four over two. <coughs> this is a positive number. Just simply can multiply here. Number you can multiply. Make sure this is positive. Okay, like like if if the question is like this, there's a x here. Now this one you cannot multiply. If there's a variable here, you cannot multiply. Okay, but but the variable is power two. Okay, power two. I I told you last in the last class. I told you. If the power in the denominator, the power is even number, mm -hmm. even, 2, 6, 8, can multiply. But then other than that, you cannot multiply. What you have to do? You have to bring it to the left and I think after this you know what to do. Okay. Now we have number. You can multiply.
you can leave the answer like this or you can leave the answer in mixed fraction like this anything can okay the rest you try to do is all easy one and two should be easy Solve each of the following inequalities and illustrate them in number lines. So maybe I will do C here. Plus 7 you bring here become minus 7. This one you bring here become minus 7. So this one is 4, 20, and then 4 here you divide, this should be your answer. In the answer, behind answer, I didn't give you number line. Okay, I didn't give you number line. So never mind. Uh, you want to do number line also can. You don't want to do number line also can. Yeah, I leave it to you. That's if you want to do this as a number line, then how to do this? Again, zero is here. One is here. Five is here. If there is an equal, you put a small circle and shade inside. There is no equal, you put a circle here. That's it. That's the number line. Okay, you can you can you can do the number line to practice, or you do want to also can as long as you get the right answer here. That is regarding question three. The rest is all you can try on your own. Eh? So. Eh? Question 4, we, I will do D here, If there is a negative, you have to bring the negative together. So you bring that side, it becomes positive. And then if you press in the calculator, this one becomes 1. This is the answer. Okay, and you can do the same number line. Okay, number line system. I sh if, do they ask number line? This one no number line. So this you can leave the answer like this.
for number five for number five if you notice I have given the full answer here okay so the full working is here number five so I no need to do you just have a look at the thing you try first you try and then have a look at the working answer and you try to do okay that is regarding linear inequalities now we are moving for quadratic inequalities Now I'm going to do uh, maybe one A here. One I can write it as one square. And as I told you earlier before in the class, there's a formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b a minus b. This one I can write it as x plus 1, x minus 1 less than 0. Then after this, I suppose you guys know what to do. Number line system. can do number line system or the graph system I show you the number line system first x is in between negative 1 and 1 that is the answer this is number line system but for any quadratic okay this is method 1 a number line system is method 1 method 1 method 2 okay method 2 here you can choose whichever you want both method I have taught in the class eh? for this one if you solve this you will get x equal to negative 1 x equal to 1 This is a smiley graph. Look below. And you can do like this also. So two method. 
whichever is convenient for you you can do next do I here This is the answer if you use number line system. But if you this is method one, eh? we use method two. You solve for zero, you get negative one point five. 1.5 this is a smiley graph greater than 0 look above the x axis get the same answer okay all right that is regarding question one quadratic
question m2 no method 2 question 1 method 2 question 1 question 1i method 2 the same as 1 uh, 2a is quite easy you guys can try maybe I do L here I'm going to do method 2 here. Method 1 you guys later can try. This is the answer for 2LF. For number
which is also a 3a and That is the answer for 3D. Now for 3H. This is answer for three H. If you notice here, if I rearrange this, uh, okay, I need to rearrange this, the x square must be here. But if you notice here, my x square term got negative, so what can I do? Change the direction. Negative become positive, negative become positive, positive become negative. That is for F, uh, just now three what I did uh, three I did H D and A
five and six you try okay five and six you guys can try it's a little bit tough and five and six you guys try anybody try you cannot get the answer you want me to explain i will explain in the class okay i think i prefer to physical class instead of online class five and x six is a little bit uh, not to say hard is tricky but you guys try first anyway i will explain the physical class eh? online class i think are uh, not appropriate for five and six all right that is quadratic inequality uh, remember remember uh, this is our first tutorial our first tutorial here we we are doing inequalities so our second tutorial i will go for logic but doesn't mean that in the second tutorial uh, you 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 use i mean you can still ask question uh, on inequalities in our second tutorial so so it goes on like that it's not that we are not we are going to do inequality in the first tutorial only and the next next tutorial i won't look at we are not going through that okay if you have any question you can always come and ask me in the class or tutorial all right rational inequalities i suppose uh, this rational inequalities i have done a lot i think two or three question in the previous cases one is this one okay number 10 i have done number 10 here number 10 is done and also another rational inequality i have done in the class here this one maybe i will do maybe one more for the tutorial actually i wanted to do uh, this type of question 14 and 17 but then i leave it to you you guys try first if i show if i solve everything then then there's nothing for you to try at least you try first see whether you get the answer or not here let me do the 20 here okay here again why why we cannot cross multiply because there is a variable here but if this variable is a square here and a square here can we multiply yes can okay as i told you this is a kind of fraction eh? if you have a fraction like a over b plus or minus i put a minus here anyway how to make it one fraction times here times here times here
this is how you do how you make it one fraction I'm going to do the same thing As I told you, doesn't matter what is the inequality here, either like this or like this, doesn't matter. We always put greater or equal. If there's an equal here, you put an equal here. That's it. If no equal, don't put an equal. Now, if you do this, you get, this is the answer, okay? But as I told you earlier, as I told you earlier, this is a rational function. So, rational inequalities, what we have to be, we have to worry is the denominator. The denominator here. We don't want that to be zero. Okay, we don't want that to be zero. So x minus three. This x minus three denominator we don't want that to be zero. Which means we don't want x to be three. And the other denominator is what? X plus two. X plus two. We don't want this to be 0, which means we don't want this to be negative 2. So, in our solution here, in our solution here, we don't want this x equal to 3 and we don't want x to take negative 2. Now, check. Do we have in this uh, equation here? Here, no. Here is less than or equal to negative 12 so it will go negative 13 negative 14 negative 15 so these values won't fall here this one is okay but how about here can you see x there's equal here 
x equal to negative 2 but we don't want negative 2 so what we have to do we remove this one okay let me write here and then I, I, I want to write here we remove and x equal to 3 but we don't want x equal to 3 so this one also we remove the equal sign we remove so what is the answer now the final answer would be x is less or equal to negative 12 or x is or is x is in between negative 2 and 3 there is no equal there ok don't put the equal this is the thing when I check here I don't I want to show you another one but uh, there is no proper example here as I as I as I told you in the class let's say just now uh, let's say let's say uh, for example uh, let's say the solution okay example this is just an example to show you something here I'm going to sh show you something here is very easy okay, to, to get to, to, for us to remove the negative 2 we just remove the equal here also we remove the equal now what if what if in the denominator let's say the denominator is we do want x equal to uh, 3 but then the answer is okay for example the answer you get is when you do the number line system number line maybe the answer you get is uh, x is in between uh, 2 and uh, 5 ok we, we don't want x to, to equal to 3 but if you notice here 3 is inside here just now 2 was at the end point negative 2 uh, negative 2 is here so we remove the equal easy 3 we remove the equal easy so the answer is this one what if the number is inside not not here and here inside okay inside because 2 to 5 3 is inside here remember that eh? we don't want that we don't want that now the 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 solution tells that x can, x can take any value in between 2 and 5 but we don't want 3 how are we going to split this i teach you in the class just now how if you put a number line 2, 3, 4, 5. You take 2. This is 3, isn't it? This is 3, yeah? This is 3, this is 4, this is 5. You take 2, but you don't take 3. Jump. Then take all these things. So, how to jump here? You don't take 3, put a circle. So if you notice here, you have to split this x here, you split x is in between 2 less than 3, you split the 3 or now this is how you do, you rewrite again here, here you break the 3, you don't put equal here, you will go very near to 3 but you won't take 3. And then after 3 you will take more than 3, you won't take 3 until 5. This is how you break the thing. Yeah? Hope you guys understand. If you don't understand, you can always come in, ask me in the class. So that is regarding rational inequalities. Simultaneous inequalities.
I'll show you one. For simultaneous inequality, we take the intersection only, intersection. In this case, we cannot put plus minus and all these things. Eh? Simultaneous equation, simultaneous inequality, when they give two inequalities, ask you to find the solution. You simply do this and take the which partition you can see some, some intersection here. In first partition, you can see a blue color but no green color. In the second partition, you can see blue and green. So, this is where the intersection happened. The third partition, you cannot see blue but you can see the green. So that is not the answer, we take the one with intersection, so the answer is x is in between negative 1 and 3, okay, that is how you do the 2 and 3, you try yourself. Now absolute value inequalities, I think I have done this many in the class. But we will go through certain things here. A and B are all easy. You have to understand eh, absolute value means absolute absolute value means is a positive number. Okay, you have to understand that positive number. Now let me do what is that? Maybe I can do E here. This is less than 3. So, what is the formula we are going to use? I suppose you guys, suppose you guys know, eh, I don't need to show all these things. Eh? So, plus 1 here, you bring that side, negative 4. You bring this side become 2, then this is the answer. <laughs> now for maybe one more. One E. Maybe, maybe F.
this is answer for F. Huh? Yeah, hold on, eh? because one of the student asked me a question. That's what. I, that's why I just, I just now I pause. I don't know where I put the question. Okay, I have this. Nurul Ain Nazira. Nurul Ain Nazira. Ramadani. Okay. So you are you ask me, you ask me what you ask me, eh? You ask me in the rational, you ask me in the rational in the rational question. Before I proceed, eh? let me answer this one rational. What you ask me here? X plus you which question you are doing here x minus 3 <laughs> hello doctor yeah uh, i have a question how do we want to know if the question is positive or negative the you are the one asking me isn't answer it? you asked me just now isn't it? yes What's up? Yes. Uh, when you, when you say positive or negative, which one you mean? Eh? You mean let me go through the thing. Eh? Do do you mean this one? How we choose negative here? Negative here? Uh. Or which one? The in the line? You mean? Yes. In the line. This one. The the, the huh. black color. This one. Yes. If you have a line, see in this partition here. In this partition, do you have any line here? No, so you put minus, minus, minus. In this partition, the blue color doesn't exist, so minus. In this partition, red color doesn't exist, minus. This one, green exists, so plus. Can you understand? In the third partition, uh, this one. Bukan doctor, yang bawah. Yang doctor bulat kan. Yang ini ya? Yes. Yang ini, tengok dekat sini, yang original ni. Less than zero, negative, isn't it? Um, so kita pilih negatif. Boleh? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Itu saja kan? Soalan dia? Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, that's, that's I answer the question. Okay, now we move on to the next one. Uh, absolute value here, we have done this one. And for number two, I suppose for number two, I have given full answer here. Number two, you can refer. Okay, number two, I have given full working here. Okay, so you can find this, all these things. And number three, number three, I give you a hint. Eh? Number three is still easy. Okay, number three is like number one here, still easy. Uh, number number three, you use, uh, number three, you use if x, mod x and mod x is less than a what formula you have to use negative a, x is in between negative a and a if mod x is greater than a x is greater than a or x is less than a so that's how you have to use use either this one or this one to answer the third part of the question okay that is okay, number three and number four, I have un number four is the one I covered in the last class. If I'm not mistaken, okay. Number four I have covered in the last class. Uh, basically, this number four I have done. If you notice here, uh, number one here, not here, this one. Uh, yeah, this one. The, this one I have covered in uh, this one A so you can do B and C use the same method to do B and C and then what else I covered here 
4J. Not 4J. Here, I have 4J, this one. This one I have covered. I have covered for... This is the type of question where this is less than. Eh? So you can, you can follow this method to do all the less than question. This one and this one. F and G, you can do this method. Eh? I'm 4J. And uh, for... K, I have covered for greater than. So you can do this one, this one, this one, and this one by referring to K. And uh, I think last one. The last one I have covered is O. I have covered O, then you can do one, two, three. So all this for each of each type I have given how to solve the method. Okay, the method to solve inequalities. So you refer to this method and try to do the rest. Eh? Try to do and get the answer. Okay. For mixed problem here, you guys uh, try first. If there's only 10 question. You guys try first. Mixed question. Maybe the mixed question I will cover in uh, our tutorial in the face to face class. Mixed question. Eh? Alright. So you guys have all the method now. I have covered here all these things. Except for mixed question, uh, mixed question, mixed problem, and uh, what else is there? I ask you to do the star five and six. You guys try first, okay? You guys try first, and uh, any always you guys can come and ask me in the class, all right? And and, and also tutorial. Um, last, last, last week, the technician called me, and he said. There is uh, the, the, the projector in our class, the, the, B, the BK4 in library, uh, is not working. So they are, they, are, they are doing some repair work, I guess. So I need to call him back before our class. Our class next class is Sunday, isn't it? So before our class next week, I need to call him and uh, ask him whether is that fixed or not. If it is not fixed, then it's quite difficult for me to handle the class there and uh, most probably we will have another online class but hopefully the he has fixed it let me find out and update to you all some ask me is there any uh, well, when is the online classes uh, online week okay so this week suppose uh, let me explain we we supposed to have four online week class fully uh, I was here the first week the first online week is we have taken as a this week which is the second week the next online week is during deep hourly the next online week is I think during Christmas something like that ok so I will update you this two I will update when is our online class. This is this Deepavali time and Christmas time. I think it's fully online. So don't worry, I will update you. And uh, we still have one more online. I just keep it as a spare in case emergency. Anything happen. Alright. So with that, uh, you guys try all this question. Try first. I have given all the method except for 5, 6 and the mixer problem I want you to try first and then any problem you come see me in the class then we will discuss about it all right so that's all for today later I'll share the video and also the the thing okay all right take care then bye I see you on Sunday then take care bye thank you doctor thank you doctor